Hello, my name is Natalie Morris and welcome to Ask the White House brought to you by Skype and Bing. This is your chance to ask questions to the people that matter in the administration. Now the White House has selected the discussion topic today so it will be their policy views that we are discussing. Skype's role here is to simply facilitate the conversation between the American people and the policymakers. Today's discussion topic is immigration and joining me to do so we have Cecilia Munoz. She is the director to the domestic Policy Council, and we also have Vice President Joe Biden. And thank you so, morning, so much Natalie. both for joining me. It's an honor. It's delight to be with you. Thank you. Now, the Vice President and Ms. Munoz will be taking questions from callers via Skype, but you can join the conversation as well if you'd like to do so on Twitter. Use the hashtag <coughs> AskTheWhiteHouse. Now, before we take any live questions, we'd like to ask you, Mr. Vice President, why is immigration such an important topic to you? You know, at its core, Im Im immigration is all about uh, what's built America. You're using an iPhone, get an iPad. If you're using yeah. an Android phone, get an Android tablet because you don't want to make someone switch ecosystems. Right. That would right. really, that would probably annoy me actually. So, that, so you don't know me at all if you right. got me the wrong yeah. one. Exactly. And your laptops, what should you be looking for? Okay, so storage, not quite as important on a laptop again because we don't store a lot of stuff there. Most of the time we're using the cloud, but I'd go at least 250 because storage is so cheap mm -hmm. these days. Yeah. So don't get less than that. RAM is the number that you're going to want to really beef up here. So at least two gigs or more. So when you see that number, again, mm -hmm. higher is better. Battery life is something I have very little patience for uh, these days. Yes. I don't like Same. less than five. So what's this app? All right, so she's not wearing an app. She's wearing the Widings Health Monitor. This is the Widing Pulse, mm -hmm. and it goes with this app, the Widings Health Mate. So the app will track her activity. It's tracking calories. It's tracking steps. Now, she just did all this dancing in between commercial breaks. So let's see how much she's wow. burned. 3,620 calories because she's working it. It's a game console year. We usually only get those about once an administration. Natalie, what's the buzz? What's the most compelling thing you've heard so far? Well, so far, Apple is introducing many new features for iOS and iOS devices. They talked about selling over 250 million iOS devices. So now they're going to upgrade the software, and it's going to have so many new features, over 250 new features, including better notification and also something called Find My Friends, where you can find your other friends based on using a map. So I can just look and see, where's my husband? Where's my kid? Which is a cool thing. Google already has something sort of like this. So I think people are really going to like this. And then, of course, we're waiting for the official announcement about the next iPhone, which we think will be called iPhone 4S. Uh, uh, Natalie, wait a minute here. You, 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 said, you said, find my husband. Really doing. You, thought, you said that was a cool thing, Natalie. <laughs> I think it's a cool thing. I actually do use Google Latitude with my husband a lot of times because when he's You're you very know, fooling suspicious. around at Home Depot, I want to know where he is um, <laughs> and when he's coming home, especially if I'm expecting him to bring dinner. I want to know when my pizza is ready. <laughs> Right? That's right. So the Chromecast is this little device here that you plug into your television and it turns your television into a smart device because then it uses the internet to play whatever is on your mobile device on your television. Mm. So you pull it up on your tablet and then you're able to play it for everyone around you That's cool. right there on the TV. So this is a click wheel thermostat. They're calling it the thermostat of the 21st century. And if you take a look at it, you notice it's just basically an iPod scroll wheel. You turn it up, you turn it down. Once you get a good look at this thing, you'll go back to your thermostat in your house and you're like, this is stupid. Why do I need 70 buttons to just turn it up a little, turn it down a little? It learns your family's habits and adjusts accordingly. There's a mobile app so that you can warm up the house or cool it down before you even get there. So that's great. Although I can see a little dueling apps. I, I I wouldn't want my husband to have the app on I was his gonna phone, say. and then I have it because I like to have that's climate why control. Cars, that's why cars now come with dual climate controls exactly. in the front seat, best right? Exactly. Best I, think I, I know got if I can... split the difference on the thermostat. Yeah. You know? Can I password yeah. protect this? Because that's what I want to do.